Hi everyone, welcome back to Staffordshire Car Care and we're kickstarting this episode with a couple of BMWs, an M240i and a very bright BMW M4 behind me and we'll be, as normal, answering your questions, showing you what vehicles are coming in and what they look like when they're finished. So stick around and let's get to it. You may be in a position where you're looking for some protection on your car, whether it be a new car or a used car. And on our website, you can go over to www.staffordshirecarcare.co.uk and you can go to the Get Quote section. Now, it allows you to pop your information in about your car, but it also allows you to choose the areas you're looking for protection to be applied. Now, on the BMW M240i, the customer had opted for the paint and the wheels. So he can manage the interior himself, absolutely fine. So that's what we're gonna to do to this car, a one-stage machine polish, ceramic coatings to the paint and to the wheels, and we'll show you what's involved with that coming up. So we're really very fortunate and thankful that through our Instagram page and here on YouTube that we get some good comments and questions. One of those questions that we've just received was, I wash my car once a week. How often should I use Q2M tire cleaner if I'm using Q2 tire? Now, it's a good question, and let's just assume you've washed your car, it's clean and it's dry, and you've popped some Q2 tire on the surface of your tires. I would suggest leaving it about three or four washes before getting out Q2M tire cleaner and spritzing it on the surface of your tire. The indicator that you're looking for is, if there is any sort of deposits or dirt on the surface, then the product should react like a browny color. If you do see that, then there's clearly something there and it needs to be removed and repeat that through the rest of the tires too. If you don't see any deposits or any kind of reaction, then clearly there's nothing there. Therefore, no need to continue using the product. I hope that answers that question. Three or four washes, give it a spritz, see if there's something there. If so, keep continue to use the product. If you don't see anything, then don't use it. Let's go off and answer another question. The BMW M4 competition is up on the ramps, waiting for its wheels to be removed to be coated in Q2 rim. Also, it's single stage machine polish and two year ceramic coating to the paint. But first up, we've got to remove the tar deposits, clay bar the car ready for its machine polish. So let's get into that. This is the BMW M4. It is now finished after its one stage machine polish and ceramic coating to the paint, inclusive of removing the wheels, calipers and arches have also been coated too. This is what the car looks like. Now it has been pushed. BMW M240i is now completed after its one stage machine polish and Mose Evo ceramic coating to the paint. We've also put Q2 rim on the wheels, calipers, hubs, trim on the arches and it's now completed and ready to go out. And here is what it looks like. Now it's been finished. Electric cars are becoming popular to ceramic coat here at Staffordshire Car Care, possibly because of the fact that people are keeping them for a longer period of time. And for the first time, we have a Volkswagen ID3 here for a new car paint protection treatment. 
So as always, preparation is key and it's outside with the Volkswagen ID3 to be washed and cleaned, ready for its one stage machine polish. It will pop on the ramps and have the wheels removed to be coated in Q2 rim. Now it's obviously important to make sure that the surfaces are machine polished prior to any ceramic coating. And we do get asked, what is the difference between your protection coating and the coating the dealership offers? Now the simple question to ask is, is your dealership going to do what we are going to do here before applying any such coating to the car? Who knows? Right then, so after two days and a lot of hard work, machine polishing, ceramic coatings, you name it, the Volkswagen ID3 is now ready to show you the results. And here is what it looks like. So that's the Volkswagen ID3 all finished after its new car paint protection treatment and it's over to the BMW M4 competition. We're introducing you to the BMW M4 competition and it's here with us for a couple of days to have a new car paint protection treatment which is ceramic coatings applied to the paint, the wheels, the glass, trim, leather, fabric and also paint protection film applied to the seals as well. And as you can see it is a little bit dirty and grimy. Why? And that's because we asked the owner to not make contact with the car or wash the car between taking delivery of it and it arriving with us to carry out the protection treatment. And that is just simply to uh, help reduce the wash marring or damage that could possibly be caused to the paint that we would otherwise have to remove and inc incur extra charges. The customer has done very well, he's kept his hands off, which is perfect, as difficult as it may be, but it's here and it's safe and we're going to look after the car from now. And in a couple of days, we're gonna show you what this car looks like when it's all completed. So the BMW is all washed, it's clean, and it's inside ready for machine polishing, but come and have a look at what's over and what we found on the bonnet. Some sort of scratches, I don't know, some sort of swing in motion has been rubbing across the bonnet, but what do you think? Let us know in the comments below if you've seen this before. But we'll get this machine polished out and ready for ceramic coatings. We've got two days to get the coatings done to the wheels, the glass, the trim, the interior, and those protection film applied to the sills. Two days, we'll get this ready and stick around and we'll show you what the results are like too. So let's go over to another question. And the question that we got asked was, do we apply a ceramic coating prior to paint protection film or after applying paint protection film? And the answer generally is, you would apply a ceramic coating to the film after installation, because let's face it, the ceramic coating will not help the addition of the glue to the surface of the paint, making your PPF stay in one place. But here we use Geon paint protection film, which already has a ceramic coating applied to the film at the factory stage. So we don't have to add a ceramic coating on top of the surface of the film. So I hope that answers that question. We would or should apply a ceramic coating on top of the PPF, not before. So the BMW M4 competition has been with us now for three days and it has had a new car paint protection treatment. That includes a one-stage machine polish to the paint to prepare for a ceramic coating. The ceramic coating choice on this particular car, based on the customer's criteria, is Mose Evo, which is just there. And then we have installed Q2 rim to the wheels, calipers and the hubs, and then Q2 trim on the inside of the wheel arches. And as normal, that will help when pressure washing the inside of the arches to remove all that dirt and grime, it's gonna come off nice and easy. So on this gorgeous interior and this color combination, we've installed Q2 leather coat to the leather 
and we've installed fabric coat to the fabrics and that is going to help maintain the interior making it easy to clean and repel those spillages and dirt that you may get on the interior. In addition, what we've also carried out on this car is paint protection film to the sill areas down below. That is going to help with the rotation of the wheel, flicking up small stones and rushing the paint on those lower sections. That completes the treatment on this BMW M4 competition and this is what it looks like now it has been finished. Right then, so the Alpha Julia up on the ramps is here for its health check and paint protection film applied to the sills. The customer has drove away, experienced what it's like to own the car for a few weeks and realized there are and is some vulnerability to road rushing happening to the sill area, just inside of this section, just here and down the side. So we'll apply paint protection film to the sills and that will solve that issue for the future and we'll show you what that looks like now. So my daughter's here, yeah. She wants to know, little Georgie, is why is it called Gion? So hopefully Gion will reach out to us and give us the answer to that and give us some explanation as to why it's called Gion. If you have a reason or thoughts to know why it's called Gion, let us know in the comments below. Right then, so we've reached the end of this episode. Thank you ever so much for watching. We have some cars to crack on with next week, which is the Defender Behind and another BMW M4 competition here with us. Don't forget to look out for the upcoming video of the Toyota Yaris GR. And thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the icon bell button to be notified when our next video is uploaded. Once again, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Cheerio.